In this video, I'm going to show you how to define the alt text of images in your HTML, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. So we have a very simple HTML page laid out with an image tag. And inside the image tag right now, we only have the source, which is where we get the image from. And it's currently rendered on the right. WP done for you, which is another one of our web properties where we do WordPress stuff for you. But inside of the image tag, we can add another attribute and it is called just alt alt equals and the quotes open and close quotes. And what you want to write in here is a description of the image. So you would put in, for example, logo, or I would put in logo of WP done for you and save that page or save that file, refresh this page. And the alt text is actually added right now. So if we inspect this element, we see that we have, oh, let me pull this down. We see we have the alt text right here, it starts here, wraps around to the second line. So the alt text is there. And what it's actually for is it's for cases where the images don't load for whatever reason. So that text describes the image, I'll show you that in a minute. And it's also for people who have visual impairments, who can't see the, web, the internet properly or see the browser properly, or maybe are totally blind. They use something called a screen reader, which reads the contents of an HTML page and the alt text is something that the screen reader will read to that person. If there's no alt text, they're not gonna get a description of the image and maybe not even know there's an image there. So to see the one of those cases in action, I'm just gonna break this image URL, save it, refresh this page, and now the image won't load, but what does load is the alt text. We have a broken image symbol and the alt text of logo of WP done for you. So if your page fails to load the images for whatever reason, you have this text to help people identify what the image was about. This is also useful if you're sending HTML based email because uh, programs like Outlook sometimes don't load images by default until someone clicks a button. So you could have text in here that says, please click the download images button to see this image, or you could just describe the image. So it's useful not just on HTML pages, but also in HTML based email. And it's very useful for screen readers for people with visual impairments. So that's how easy it is to define the alt text of your images in your HTML. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content. And then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.